Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here. Uh, today I wanted to take a look at a game called Clank in Space, which is, of course, um, a game very similar to that of Clank, the deck building adventure game. Um, there are going to be obvious similarities to this game as there are to Clank, but there are also going to be some differences. So, um, if you have played the uh, original Clank game, um, one of the things you'll note is that the uh, board itself is one of those normal flip boards, um, just a, that you would see with any typical board game. Uh, one side depicts the um, uh, easier dungeon and or I guess the uh, beginner's dungeon and the other side depicts a more challenging dungeon and that there's also an expansion I believe it's called sunken treasure um, but I'm not too positive um, how that one works uh, never played it yet uh, because I, I really enjoyed playing clank I thought it was really fun um, so I didn't think uh, it needed any more um, I guess add-ons <clears throat> but um, I happen to be uh, a big fan of space and uh, space the space theme in general. Um, not the biggest fan of uh, the whole fantasy dragons and knights theme, although I, I do have games in that category like Clank that I really do enjoy. Um, I tend to enjoy uh, space-related themes a lot more. So hence the Clank in Space. So let's take a look at the rule book. Um, it is a very large, very colorful rule book. And one of the things it has is a lot of flavor at the top, um, like story elements to kind of set the mood, um, which makes this a really fun read, actually. Um, but for the most part, just your normal rule book. And you can kind of see a, a quick illustration of what the board looks like looks like I'll go into a lot more detail about that because this is one of the biggest changes um, in this game as well as a few other minor things um, unlike the original clank where you are um, uh, I guess trying to avoid a dragon uh, in this one you are avoiding a gentleman named Lord Eraticus who has all but completely conquered the entire universe and um, is now on a victory lap to kind of rub it in everybody's faces, I guess. And you have a bet with your fellow, I guess, thieves that uh, you can infiltrate his ever-evolving ship and uh, steal some of his more precious artifacts and get out alive. So, that sets the the scene, I guess. So as we go through the rule book, you can kind of see you know, the big, colorful displays and whatnot. Um, here's an example of something that's changed in the game. They have uh, hyperlift pads and telepads um, to make. Uh, traveling around in the ship a little bit easier. Uh, something to remember about the hyperlift pads is that uh, should you invoke the wrath of Eraticus, he will blockade the hyperlift, which means that at a certain point you won't be able to travel uh, beyond uh, a certain section of the hyperlift pad um, once that blockade is put there. Um, hacking data ports is another um, interesting change. Uh, it gives you some interesting benefits as well as uh, giving you access to where he keeps all his artifacts so you can steal those artifacts. Um, yeah. The mark, um, this is works very similar to that of the dragon when uh, cards refill in the line, if we have an Eraticus symbol, um, you're going to increase the um, uh, track, I guess, the, the threat track for him. I, I think they called it the rage track for him. He gets angrier and angrier. 
once he uh, realizes that you are uh, on board his ship and trying to steal his stuff. Um, the getaway is very similar. Um, although, if you get knocked out while you are in the docking bay, or I guess where the escape pods are, um, and your friends make it there without getting knocked out, they will actually drag your body out and, and keep you from, I guess, the wrath of Eraticus. Um, however, they will get their, you know, extra points for escaping. You will not because, well, you know, <laughs> you got knocked out. Uh, you know, normal scoring. But yeah, this is a um, very colorful, easy rule book. I was actually kind of surprised when I first saw how big it was. I was concerned about how complicated it might be uh, for teaching more of a gateway gamer like my partner. Um, but it actually turned out not so bad. So here is the board. And this is the main um, difference that you'll see in the board. You, you can see that these are... Uh, um, cut like puzzle pieces and are actually as well double-sided um, which makes the board modular and each game can be significantly different um, than the other than any other games based on the modules that you decide to put in there um, because each one has different uh, options and paths available as well as obstacles so I thought that was very cool and definitely a welcome change <coughs> to to the original Clank, which, again, I'm a big fan of the original Clank. I thought that they did a uh, fantastic job um, with it. I just was... I, 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 I dreamed of a board like this. And then you can kind of see there are parts of the board that are supposed to stay the same. And this is going to be your uh, docking bay, which is going to um, include your clank track. And this part will always stay the same. This is where the escape pods are. Um, it doesn't change at any point in time and is, in fact, not double-sided. Um, because, like I said, it doesn't change. Um, maybe in expansions they may do something different with it, but... Who knows? And this is another part of the board that um, always stays the same. Um, so, just something to look forward to. And this is the uh, Rage track. And you can see at the very top we got our final level of, of Rage, which is uh, Plaid. A nice homage to um, Spaceballs. Um, so yeah, that is the board. Very cool. Uh, this is another part of the board that doesn't change and this is going to be where your hyperlift track is and yeah super cool so this is the insert to the game and as you can see my cards are sleeved and it fits perfectly and prior to sleeving them um, they just kind of sat in there loosely and I was uh, worried that it might not be big enough for sleeved cards but as you can see it is perfect so Kudos, uh, guys. You did a fantastic job on this insert. I'm, I'm very um, impressed. Uh, if you watched my Alien Artifacts video, one of the concerns I had was whether the cards would fit in the insert um, after the cards that have been sleeved. Um, I got to test that out the other day, and unfortunately, the sleeves make the cards a little too big, and I would have seen um, corner warping. So I had to get rid of the insert, which is unfortunate. And here is Erraticus. Um, just like the dragon, you have your little Erraticus token. You can see they have a tray in here for all of my tokens. This is highly unorganized, and I am very sorry for that. I will be organizing it, um, but it's been a busy week. And then we have, actually, I'm going to show you these. Pull these out. 
we have these nice little translucent cubes of each of the different uh, player colors. We have our power crystals, which is another interesting uh, new mechanic for Clank in Space. Um, there's some benefits for getting uh, more of these throughout the game. And then we have a bag full, and I should move this and show you, of all the Clank tokens. There's not a whole lot of difference from any of the other games. Clank tokens for each of the different colors, um, the tokens for Lord Eraticus himself, and then some red tokens. These tokens um, uh, in, are, are the mercenaries, which will uh, slowly but surely, as they um, get put in the bag, have a higher chance of coming up. And when they do, it's not it's not a good thing. It's it's actually quite unfriendly. Um, and then the little meeples that come with it. Um, and if you look at the box art, which I'll show you after we're done, the meeples actually match all the different heroes that are running outside of the uh, ship away from Lord Eraticus. And then last but not least, the um, bag for wh where all the uh, clank tokens go with Lord Eraticus. Nicely... Um, depicted on the front of the bag as if we weren't scared enough so all in all really great quality just like the original game um they didn't skimp on it at all um we'll take a look at some of these cards really quick here these are our starting decks um <clears throat> they have uh pretty much the same setup as the starting decks from the original clank game um, but just updated to the current theme, uh, and, and updated with the, uh, different changes that are available for this particular version of Clank. This is, uh, the enemy that you can hit any time you want, uh, as many times as you want to kind of get, in this case, credits, um, so that's pretty cool. It has another uh, side for the Erratabot. This guy comes around, um, I want to say, as the uh, rage level increases, but I think there's a, a different... I, I might be wrong about that. I'd have to look it up. Um, memory cores. These are, car these are the cards that are always available to the players at uh, any given time. 42, just a... Uh, Nice little homage to um, Hitchhiker's Guide. Boldly Go. An homage to Star Trek. Phaser. <clears throat> Who looks a lot like a Transformer. And like I said, these are always available at any given time, just in case you don't want to buy whatever's in the lineup. Um, for whatever reason, um, you have other options as well. Then we go into the main deck. There is It's a, a decent main deck here. It's pretty large. Got the Resistance Leader, Imprisoned Soldier, looks a lot like Riddick, Imprisoned Resistor. Imprisoned Pilot, Wound Be Gone, Blue Pill or the Red Pill, Thunderbug 1701, Men in Black, Security Cart, Power Converter, Power Boots. I want to say this is a, an homage to Mario, um, <clears throat> that really old uh, 80s movie that didn't get a lot, but a lot of attention, but... I, I might be wrong. Light Scooter from... Um... Oh, dang. I forgot the name of the movie. Anyway. The Light Cycles. You know what I mean. Jidu Lightsaber or Sword. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I called it a Lightsaber. 
<laughs> uh, acoustic scanner. Doctor. Uh, registry hack. Door hack. Account hack. Trophy hunter, which looks like a predator. Trader. Thieving menace. The professor, as opposed to the doctor. The collector. The baron. Teleport or telepad technician. Battle school genius. Um, very cool. Squawkbot. Space skunk. Space pirate. Shapeshifter. Psychic priestess. Psychic master. Princess Helia. <laughs> Uh, yes. Phantom Agent. Monkey Bot 30,000. Alien Medic. Oh, is that supposed to be ET? Jidu inf Infiltrator. Jeez. <laughs> Information Broker. Helpful Prodigy. Data Miner. Furry Smuggler. Okay. Feline. Exo Stomper Alien. Is that Ripley? That's eh, probably not. Entertainer, Fifth Element. Dr. Whiskers, Don Uno, Renegade Hacker, Crystal Thief, Crystal Runner, Cranky Doctor, Star Trek again, Underworld Contact. Nibbling Beast, Android Runaway, Android Diva, another one to Fifth Element, Exterminator, Terminator. Some of these they're paying homage to uh, just random sci-fi. Android Assistant, I, w I always want to believe that this is a jab at Android. Vault Guard. Shredbot, Security Officer, Savage Gorklar, Lord of Radicus himself. Now, this is something new, too, because uh, uh, if I remember correctly, the dragon never shows up in the original Clank game. So in this case, uh, Lord of Radicus does show up in the uh, deck. Um, for Clank in space. Uh, but this, and, and now that I, I see it, is actually how you change the goblin to the Erratobots, because then you've defeated him, now he's like, wait, we need to bring in better security measures, and then he sicks the um, uh, Erratobots on you. Hub of the Yurt. Um, gross. iPod. This is a uh, 2001 Space Odyssey reference. Mad Scientist, want to say Back to the Future, but who knows. Door Sentinel. Dark Jidu. Star Wars, anybody? Uh, Killbot. And that is it. That is the new Clank in Space deck. Um, as far as I can tell, and I think it, it's actually pretty obvious considering the... Um, amount of major changes they've made and and they're not I guess they're not major changes changes the amount of changes that they've made to this uh, this version of the game um, I don't uh, it's obvious that they they don't mix you cannot mix the clank set with the clank and space set um, super excited about this game can't wait to play it um, but have not had the opportunity yet. Like I said, it's been a, a busy week. Uh, I got a lot of this uh, during Christmas. Um, either as uh, gifts from friends or just gifts to myself because there were some really good sales. Um, but I am very excited to play this. Like I said, the space theme is, is kind of my, my go-to theme. Um, and it, the quality of it is just incredible. Not to mention, on top of all of that, um, 
the modular board really um, I wasn't expecting that I actually when I had opened it I was expecting it to be uh, just a normal board like the original clank so the fact that it is modular made it that much more enticing to me um, big fan of being able to have those um, games where they they kind of change up uh, every time you play it and granted there's a finite amount of possibilities with just the three uh, modular sections um, it's still in my opinion a lot there's a lot more available to it than the uh, original clank game um, and it gives you the option because there's a um, a general shape right here to bring out expansions that just expand how uh, what different modules you'll see in the ship so they could theoretically down the line bring out like three more of these that are double-sided with new um, different paths on it and whatnot and at the same time they could probably just leave it alone it's I don't know I, I'm just talking um, theory here but like I said earlier, I was going to show you the uh, front of the box so you can kind of see that the uh, meatballs that were uh, involved actually were characters in the uh, artwork here. So that's the uh, yellow guy, the droid, and the little cat person, and then the lady with the sword, and the guy with the gun. And Eraticus in the background with his little Eratobots coming after these guys. So yeah, that is Clank in Space. Um, really, really great looking, great components. Uh, the rule book was very easy to read. Can't wait to play it. Yeah, if you like the video, please, please, please like and subscribe. Um, and until next time, peace.